Welcome everyone. We've got another update on the Wii Mini Streamer, a follow-up, if you will, to the update. We are going to take a look at some of the features more in depth from the last update on the software, and we're also going to take a look at compatibility with several very popular streaming services. We're also going to answer some questions that we've been asking over the past couple of months. So I think you're going to like this. Stay tuned. All right, we've got a quick check on Spotify Connect, and we go to Choose. And perfect works flawlessly okay a quick check of title connect here for Weem playing on the phone and now on the Wii mini streamer the title connect works just great okay Kobuz works but only through the Weem home app so let's check it out take a quick look at what it looks like here I'm gonna search for some music as you can see it's advertising some high-res selections a little Stevie Wonder and let's play it's playing it's playing in CD quality but you'll have some good news coming up in a bit as shown on the channel before Amazon music unlimited through the Weem home app works just great calling up the Weem mini streamer in the Amazon app is also pretty easy as shown on the channel before playing on the phone right now but we will connect to the Weem and you'll notice actually that Amazon gives it a different name than I gave it in the Weem Home app. But there it is, it's playing, it sounds great. We saw in the last video that the Weem Home update allows us to change the output of the optical to high res streaming, which is fantastic, but I have not had any luck with our favorite streaming services and getting that to work. However, thanks to viewer Lord Laurent Perio, I hope I said that correctly, we know that we can get it to work with at least Koba, so let's check that out. In the Koba section of Weem Home, we check the streaming settings, and there we are. We can change that setting to high res. Just say OK a couple of times, and let's play our track. And Eureka, we've got it. We've got high res streaming through our Wii Mini Streamer in Kobuz. Thank you so much. Viewer Northern Lanes reports that at the end of April 2022, an update to the Weem Home app will allow us to be able to do the same thing in the Amazon version through the Weem Home app. So thank you for that information. All right, a quick look at some of the features of the update that we didn't look at last time. So if you go to Device and then to Settings, you can see that we have EQ, and we've got all sorts of EQs that we can try out. All right, there's an alarm clock that I'm not going to set up. And in the audio settings, that's where you can go to set the quality of the optical output. The preset contents allows you to add some playlists for easy reference. I'm not going to set that up. All right, I got a second Weem mini streamer. We're going to check out the multi-room capability. If you are in devices, just click the plus in the top right of the device that you're on and we get this right here and we just say yes and now it's playing on both and you see the screen that we have here and we can control the volume and there are several things that we can control while we've got both playing it's pretty neat the device's internal microphone lets you sync audio between the two devices at the same time in addition to volume for each, you can use this page to set each one up as a left and a separate right channel in a stereo setup. That's pretty neat. And now we'll disconnect the second Weem. All right, let's stream some Dark Side of the Moon through Kobuz through the Weem Home app and see if it does gapless. Fast forward and there it is, flawless. We have gapless playback on the Wii Mini Home Streamer. I think we have a winner here, folks. What's not to like? Okay, let's recap. We have Spotify Connect. We have Title Connect. We have Amazon Music two different ways. We have Kobuz. We have high risk streaming out of Kobuz. All this is very exciting, and we've got some EQ and some other neat features in the app. So uh, we also know that Aurelic, the 
maker of the Wii Mini Streamer is continually updating and standing behind its product. So I think we're in good shape here. If you are looking to buy this, you can see through my videos some of its capabilities and see that there's still more capabilities to come. So hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to the channel and hopefully we'll have more soon.